Lakesh is sending me to you. Hello, how are you? I am Pentim. Oh, welcome, Pentim. He says that you much like poetry. I do, and we have been recording, so we can read poetry for like. Sure. Why is it that you like poetry so much? Mm. Oh, it makes me happy. It makes you happy? It defines us, I think. But our poetry would not define you. Oh, your poetry is very human, on my opinion, and I understand much of it. I see. I try to bring you things that you might understand. Thank you for that. Yes. And I try to bring you things that might be inspiring, colorful. Thank you. Some of these I write myself. Uh huh. I think everyone on our planet writes at least a few. Uh huh. Because it is something that is required for our inner nature to come out. It is very nice to find out that poetry from other dimensions is similar to ours. It is in the sense that it it has to be about the things we know about. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we cannot write poetry that we don't know anything about. The time is different, but your poetry is linear. It is one word after another. Yes, it is. Let me tell you one. Thank you. Blue mountains, red rock skyway, shimmering social, and places to meet. And I can walk on crystal skyways into crystal pathways on the shore. Or I can become part of the dimensions that are layered upon layered in lights and colors. I bring forth to you a thought of the ages. The past was never as dynamic as it is now, because now we shed the light of truth upon the things that were static at the time, and we shed the light of resonance on those things that have happened and changed our worlds. And now I can walk past the knowledge or become part of it. It is part of who we are. It is no longer static, no longer a flat screen of thought, but we can move within it and find ourselves lost in history beyond our imagination and we can see the beginnings of our lives, the beginnings of our changes, the beginnings of those things that have made us who we are today. We launch ourselves backward to find who we'll be tomorrow. And then, when we learn how not to repeat the errors, we then build on a solid foundation, a world that can be humble, yet joyous, and full of light. Did you like that? Yes, it's very inspiring. Thank you. I may have one more for you. Of course, please do. This is about my child. Ah. Huh. It's called Venza. Uh huh. She is like the wind. She is like the sun. All things wrapped up together from my life and away from my life as well. What does she see when she opens her eyes? Will she understand that the world is a place that we created for her? Will she understand that I am only here to nurture and guide and love? Will she understand that the world is for her? 
and not for everyone, but for everyone, yes. And now I see into her eyes clearly. They are like ponds, crystal, shining. But what does she see? If I could only look and see what she sees through her eyes and what imaginations bring to her and what dreams she feels for me and many, I find myself wandering through the garden and past her playtime and wonder and wonder what she sees and how she feels. I can only pray that it is the joy and wonder that a child should be having. I can only pray that when she grows that this will continue to help her on her way. Help me to guide her, but not get in her way. Thank you, my child, because I believe that you opened my eyes more than I have opened yours. I am not sure those phrases were all correct. It sounded very nice. Thank you. Do you have a poem for me? Unfortunately, no. I... Uh, I don't. Ah. I, was I, I might sing you a song, I guess. Yes, 